He used to peg you. That's how that was. I was cultured. I was cultured before we even moved there.
know what's... Oh, my God. Quit it. All three of you guys turn around. Which way? Behind us both sides. She keeps turning exactly between them. No matter where you go. Where is the over here? Right up behind you. Hi. How'd you feel this morning? Good. I was tired. I was yes. tired. Hi. 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 seen lately. Oh, <laughs> 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 
stepping out of his limousine at this moment is the famous pizza dough boy himself, Myron Schroeder. <laughs> Myron has made his mark by establishing a chain of pizza parlors from coast to coast. Take it easy on those anchovies, Myron. Here's another person who's made it big in the cooking industry, Betty Crocker. Duncan Hines and good old Aunt Jemima have all been put out of business by our own little homemaker, Karen Kelly. Yay! Remember all those homemaker, homemaking awards in high school, Karen? They're delicious. Kelly's cookies are being served here tonight. Here are a few old married couples arriving. Susan Blystone almost couldn't make it tonight. Seems she had a lot of ironing to do and a couple hundred errands to run. Poor thing, it's been that way ever since her senior year. Susan, ever hear of drip drying? Lelwyn Boswell appears to be in the same boat. We guess Stella has him trained. We now see Jamie Sieber heading, leading in her new, leading in her new spouse. Looks like Jamie wears the pants in her family. Was she always the bossy type? Coming in at this moment are three of our most renowned ex-seniors. Amelia Joyce and Becky Powell are accompanied by Chris Andrews. These three have performed a great service for women everywhere by opening a chain of playgirl clubs featuring jackrabbits as waiters. <laughs> Becky and Mia combine their vast experience with men and they run the show while Chris is head jackrabbit. He looks just darling in his uniform and he can wrinkle his nose so cute. Turn it up, Myron. Okay. Mia states that Chris... <laughs> <laughs> Mia states that Chris is still definitely her favorite. However, we get a no comment from Becky. Oh well, she always did have trouble making up her mind. Albert and Arthur Cummings have managed to tear themselves away from their busy schedule of firefighting to be present here tonight. Stay cool, you two. Coming in just at this moment is our old friend Sue Dinsmore, better known as Sister Sue. You sure look tough in that habit, sister. Now we have two of our busy working girls arrive, arriving. Dorothy Coas and Coy Lynn Reed are our favorite beauticians to all the stars. Coy Lynn does the makeup and of course Dorothy is in charge of all the wigs. Carl Hall had to get permission from the Dean to come tonight. Carl is still in college and Phyllis is still waiting. <laughs> Gary Meadows and Clifford Parker are the headliners tonight. Gary is doing his imitations of famous people and Clifford is a one-man band. A side attraction tonight is Miss Rita Stutz, better known as Rocking Rita in the trade. She rocketed to fame for her fantastic dancing of the Schindelwolf, which she learned after many private lessons from Mr. Meadows. Here comes one of our happiest couples and most successful too, Raymond Meredith and Judy Wright, better known as the Merediths. They have turned professional wedding picture models after the great success of their own wedding pictures. Keep those happy smiles pasted on, you two. We hate to bring a note of sadness into these proceedings, but two of our ex-seniors couldn't be with, her, be with us tonight. Ken Callow couldn't be with us due to the fact that he has moved to the moon. I guess the earth got too much for him. Our dear David Duffy is no, with us no more. He hung around antique shops for so long, hunting Victrolas, that somebody bought him. <laughs> Here comes Mike Hennessy. You all remember him. We see from the sign he's carrying that he has become a famous politician. Unless my eyes are playing tricks on me, it says Hennessy for King. <laughs> now in walks Ava Napper and her veterinarian spouse. What is the tune we hear Ava humming? If we could talk to the animals, that would help. A very special celebrity has just walked in the door. Steve Lang recently been named Mr. America. I guess all those high school years of carrying his briefcase around has paid off. Have you noticed in your local grocery store that there's a new picture on the Wheaties box? Who else but the famous Kenneth Martins, now nine foot two and holding. <laughs> Keep munching them Wheaties, squirrel. Here comes the famous author, Howard Patsky. He has just written a volume entitled The History of THS. And who could possibly know what has been happening at our old alma mater before, better than Howard? Why, even the short 10 years that he was there, <laughs> a lot of exciting things happened. 
We see Jackie Adams has just arrived. He's driving the same car that he had in high school. Says he's determined to keep it until he finds the oil leak. Now we see that lovable guy, Butch Shaw. Butch is the only member of the PTA who is still in high school. Now, now we come to some of our exes who have made it big in business. Brenda Scholes runs her own brewery and bottling company. Famous for the same kind of bubbling brew they used to serve at Tent Hall during her high school days. Another business executive is Baird Allen, a well-known department store magnate. He's just completed an important merger, buying out the chain of Allen's department stores. Arm in arm with him comes the Janet McNeil. Arm in arm with him comes the Janet McNeil, top model who achieved her fame by modeling topless for Braddock's department store in hometown Tom Hall. <laughs> One more top executive is the Honorable John David Roach, now president of Roach Bug Killing Incorporated. Beth McCabe, who has just arrived, is another well-known author. Beth has written a book entitled The Trials of Falling in Love with a Younger Man. Working on the book has kept her occupied while waiting for her guy to finish school. We know it just takes longer at Magnolia, Beth. We must mention Judy Dillard, who has recently been honored by having Main Street Tomball named Dillard's Drag. <laughs> we see one of our acting stars, X, is entering now. Currently starring in the new series Zorro is Philip Jones, who is known far and wide for his fantastic black, clay, black cape and the square root of two sign which he marks his victims. <laughs> Susie Knobloch seems to have taken over her father's business. How about it, Susie? The first lady barber and tomball? Getting down from his horse just now is James Bird, known as Ricky Rodeo among his friends. He's famous for his 10-gallon hat with the one-inch brim. Mike Owens, the well-known chess champion, just walked in. With him, as always, is his portable chess set and that old beat up nifty notebook. Looks like a security blanket to me, Mike. Now in walks Susan Hall. Our dear friend Susan has been working on the beauty contest scene for the past few years. Remember Susan, our prettiest baby of Tomball High? Vernon Williams just pulled up outside. Vernon drives a tourist bus through scenic Tomball, pointing out such famous sights as the car wash and the TH bus barns, where he spent a great deal of time during his high school days. Jackie Broussard and Linda Swenson have arrived, and we see that they have given up, given up their cowboy boots for apron strings and rolling pins. It's obvious that the aprons, obvious what the aprons are for, but the rolling pins? Could it be these two have two tempers after all? Now, could it be that these two have tempers after all? Sam Shannon has just walked in. Sam's, Sam, Tomball's famous ex-tenor, is now singing with the New York Opera. However, he has switched to bass. When asked about this, Sam said that he just couldn't cut those high notes. Sorry about that, Sam. We see two of our favorite seniors walking in together right now. Anna Lee Bradfield is now editor-in-chief of the magazine for women only. With her is her protege, Robbie Combs, who recently appeared in the May fold-out. Love those layouts, Anna Lee. If you're wondering why Terry Metzler isn't with us tonight, tune in, tune in to Channel 69 when you get home, and you'll see her battling Linda Faye Johnson for the Women's World Wrestling Championship. <laughs> Of all the ex-seniors, Henry Matthews is the only one who made it big in the athletic world. Henry's now a famous track star. P.J. Well, we always had faith in you, Henry. With a name like Augustus, you can't go wrong. Arriving in her 1953 limousine is one of Hollywood's newest stars, Maxine Schultz. Her father still wouldn't have her the new car, but he did hire a chauffeur to drive her. We see Ronnie Kester now. Ronnie's been planning his wedding since high school, and he still hasn't gone through with it. He says he's afraid something will go wrong, but we think he's stalling around. Keep planning, Ronnie. Now for our most, some of our most famous ex-seniors. Miss Patsy Quinn, after 20 years of trying, has finally attained the most coveted title of best-known beauty queen. She is escorted by Mr. Chris Brown. And what's this we see, Chris, crying? 
Seems he wanted the title for himself. <laughs> Another famous senior who just arrived is Harley Parker, who gained fame by designing fantastic surfboards for the rich and famous. Uh, the one he just completed is particularly interesting, and Harley says he's keeping it for himself. It's, it's equipped with a can of mace, which Harley says is to keep away harmless creatures like bugs or policemen, a set of 12 t-shirts from the finest men's store, 10 pairs of sunshades so that Harley can keep changing, if he gets tired of the same old pair. And finally, the most important, a dime to call his mommy in case he gets in any trouble. <laughs> now we see Dorothy Gerhardt arriving in her little blue car. You all remember how shy Dorothy used to be. Well, she seems to have changed ever since she got married. She's had to learn to stand up for her rights. That's married life. No, that married life can have a great effect on all of us. It's been affecting Glenn McCoy ever since his senior year. However, he seems happy tonight. His wife must be staying with her mother. We see that Barbara Abramsky is still as trim as ever. It must be all that dancing she does. After graduation, Barbara and Jerry... Barbara and Jerry? Barbara and Jerry? Go on. You know the one. Our old junior buddy opened up a dance studio. They specialize in teaching couples to dance to hard rock music. The odd thing about it is that they hardly move at all. Really soul, Barbara, really soul. Our own Mike Foley seems to be hiring out to all the high schools in the state of Texas to chop down wood for their bonfires. Keep that axe swinging, mighty Mike. Henry Hall has just come in. Henry has been trying to get into every track meet that he can, but his luck's been running bad lately. He seems never to get timed. Linda Halsey writes a gossip column for the Treacherous Times newspaper. Watch your step, everybody, or you may see your name there. We see that our newest arrival is William Lewis Catlock.
So I'll go ahead and start at the top of these things and basically uh, give you the answers to these. We've got some little awards here that, uh, that Jackie has, so we'll start from the top and go down. Most changed female. We'll start with that one. Janet McNeil. <laughs>
Myron's Roman numerals on this thing get real big, and nobody else has even got more than one or two little slashes by their name, so this one's yours, babe. <laughs> Who 
was our class president our senior year. Who's me? Bill admits that unfortunately he was elected president our senior year. Who was the student council president our senior year? That's right. Who nicknamed their paddle 96 Tears? No. Close. It's a coach. Jackson. Jackson. Raymond Jackson. The infamous guy who taught history out of the Tarzan book. <laughs> who was the bride and groom in the womanless wedding? I think everybody pretty well has this one. Buck Turk, Joseph Becky. Jerry Wanake wins the award for the most accuracy on the video. Thank you, I'm happy to meet our Dick Please stand for most accurate Well, that's true. I will admit that. I think the food is ready, correct? So, the photographer has an announcement he wants to make first. We would like to check in. We do have name tags now. Believe it or not, yes, we have name tags over here. It goes just run through. I do have the prepaid list for the pictures.